Hi, in this video, we will see how to install TrueSight Automation Console version 2102 with containerized PostgreSQL database. Please refer the system requirement documentation for memory and disk space requirement. Regarding endpoint manager requirement, TSAC 2102 supports TSSI 2002 patch 1, 2102 GA and above version. If TSSA it is 2002 patch 1, then it's required a hotfix as described in the endpoint manager requirement documentation. Following are the Docker and supported operating system requirement. So TSAC 2102 support Docker CE version 1809 and above, Docker EE version 1706 above, Docker Compose version 119 above. And the supported operating systems are Red Hat Enterprises Linux 7 and CentOS 7. If user is installing TSAC on external database, following prerequisites are need to meet on the external PostgreSQL database. Also, the supported PostgreSQL database versions are 12 and 11. Before installing TSAC, whether it is containerized PostgreSQL DB or the TSAC application, we need to make sure following prerequisites are met on the host. So Docker CE or Docker EE should be installed. Docker Compose should be installed and having the execution permission as described in the documentation. Download the TSAC images from BMC EPD. Create one directory on the host and extract downloaded TSAC images in, in that directory. Create the local Docker registry using the given command. Verify that whether Docker images hold successfully or not. So let's start with the demo. So I have downloaded TSAC 2102 images from BMC EPD and I created one directory TSAC 2102 and inside that Docker repo. So I will be extracting these images into the Docker repo. So extraction started. TSAC image extraction completed successfully. So now we'll create the local Docker registry. I have copied and pasted the lo uh, local Docker registry creating a Docker command from the documentation. And I changed the directory with the directory which I created and extracted images into it. So let's create the local Docker registry. So we can see it it created the Docker local Docker registry successfully. So now we need to validate whether Docker images have been pulled successfully or not using uh, this curl command. So let me copy this curl command and we can see it is returning expected output to us. So I will be installing uh, TSAC containerized database in this video. So I will be following installing in the interactive mode. So now we need to uh, install the stack manager. Using that, we will be able to install and control the TSAC. So I'm installing the stack manager using the given command in the documentation. In this, I change the uh, version at the end. So let me enter. So it's asking me to provide the username. So I will pass the root and the password of our put user. It's asking me where to install stack manager. So I will keep this default location. So it is getting installed and it is installed successfully. Let's install the TSAC containerized PostgreSQL database. So I will be using this command to install the database. Okay, so it's asking the location. So I will keep it in the default location. Let me enter. So it's it's asking to accept the agreement. So let me accept it. So it's asking the Docker network subnet prefix. Using this prefix, container will spin up to communicate to each other and the local host machine and the database. So I will just provide 168 and enter the port number. I will keep it default. Enter the password. So I will just provide the password. So the database is getting installed. The database installation successfully completed. So let's install the TSAC application. 
we will be using this command from the documentation so it's asking to accept the agreement and let's will do that provide the database host name I will keep it default I will enter the password I will keep this default I will keep this port default I will select no for now name enter the port number so I will keep it default I will keep this default enter the admin role so DL admins I will keep it enter the service account username of true site server automation so BL admin enter the password for BL admin retype the password enter the role I will keep it default authentication type I will keep it uh, default and the installation of TSAC application started the TSAC application installation completed successfully user can access the TSAC console using given URL Thank you.